Welcome to this Friday morning Mass. Our lives are filled with many people who are important to us. With Valentine's Day coming up, we should think about these people and show them with love. Today's reading is about Jesus healing deaf man and a mute man. For he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Good morning, Sacred Heart. Let us gather together in prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate this beautiful day, coming to Christ, asking for his mercy in our lives and our hearts and our world. And so we ask him to grant us his peace, to unburden us from all that is holding us back from following him with all of our hearts. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of, mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the first book of Kings. Jer Jeroboam left Jerusalem, and the prophet of Hijah, the Shilonite, met him on the road. The two were alone in the area, and the prophet was wearing a new cloak. Hijah took off his new cloak, tore it into twelve pieces, and said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces for yourself. The Lord, the God of Israel, says, I will tear away the kingdom of Solomon's grasp and will give you ten of the tribes. One tribe shall remain to him for the sake of David, my servant, and of Jerusalem, the city I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Israel went to rebellion against David's house to this day. The word of the Lord. Our response is, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who lead you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. My people heard not my voice, and in Israel obeyed. Bade me not, so I give them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. If only my people would hear me and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies against their foes. I would turn my hand. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd he put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to, the, to heaven and groaned and said, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished and they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Sick at heart, this week has been crazy for me. Can you can, can any of you know why it's been so crazy for me? Why, why is it so crazy? Why is it so crazy? My beard. Thank you. Thank you, fifth graders. Thank you, fifth graders, for that idea. Um, and, you know, when I, when I did this, there was some posts on Facebook, did my mom see it? Um, so I, I, I was wondering, do I, do I text my mom a picture of my beard or not? She has an old, like, flip phone, not, not a smartphone like I do with a huge screen. Her screen is maybe the size of, size of like, like, this big. Um, so, so if I text a picture, it's not really going to be that visible. But uh, when she saw it, I did text her. When she saw it, she had to call me and say, what happened? What happened? She was like, oh my gosh, what did you do? Um, so so uh, last night, um, I had to go grocery shopping. <laughs> I didn't have time to go into the shower and wash us off. Uh, as, as, you, as you know, I, as you may know, I guess, it's not permanent hair color, it's all just... It's like a hair wax, you sort of, I use a Q-tip to sort of color it in. It takes me about a half hour to do that. Um, so I didn't have time to, to clean it off before I went to the grocery store. So I went to the grocery store, it was, it was, a, it was a fair away. I went at 8.15 last night, um, like right before it closed. <laughs> so a few people would see me. But even as I was walking through the store, you know, the, 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 the employees would say, hi, and then they would take a look and like, what, what, what is that? Um, so this past week has been embarrassing a little bit, uh, to say the least. Um, and basically, all the responses I got, all the looks I got, all the people asking, what's up with this guy? <laughs> All, the, all these things that have been happening to me happened to Jesus in his time. It happened to Jesus. Now, Jesus, Jesus didn't need to color his hair or shave his beard for that to happen. He didn't have to do what I did to make these responses happen to him in public. What did Jesus do today? What did Jesus do today in, in our gospel? Do you know what Jesus did today? Avery? Yes, someone was deaf. Someone was deaf and they couldn't hear. Someone was unable to hear the sounds of birds outside, unable to hear laughter, unable to hear me speak right now, unable to hear Jesus. So what did, what did Jesus do to heal this person? What did Jesus do to heal this person? What did Jesus do to them? Do you know there's some weird things Jesus did, some weird things that probably opened their eyes. Like, what? Do you know what Jesus did today? He put his finger in someone's ear. Okay, that's one thing Jesus did. What's another thing that Jesus did today? What, did, what other things did Jesus do? Do you know what Jesus did? He, put his, he's, he touched his tongue, he put a finger in his mouth, and he sort of, I'm not going to do it right now, but he touched his tongue. And so Jesus touched his tongue, put his finger in his ear. What else did Jesus do today? Do you know what else Jesus did? I do, do, you know what, do you know what Jesus did? Yeah. He did make new people speak. Do you know how he did it? Do you know how he did it? There's, there's one more thing he did. So he touched his, put his finger in his ear. He touched his tongue. There's one more thing he did. Do you know what he did? Um, he did look up. Can I give you a hint? <laughs> what, what, what is that? What is that? That's called spitting. Spitting. So Jesus did those three things. He he spits, he puts his finger in someone's ear, and he touched that person's tongue. You, right? You. That would, that would elicit the same response as those people in the grocery store last night. They'd have to do what? 
have to do, double, do a double take with all this. Now, uh, Sacred Heart, um, there was a strange word, there was a strange word in our gospel today called Ephatha. Do you know what that word means? Do you know what it means? You said it. I did say it, yeah. Be opened, be opened, be opened. So, Ephatha, be opened. Those are the final things that Jesus said before the man was able to hear again. And, you know, his ears were opened, he was able to hear, he was able to speak. So, Sacred Heart, may our eyes and ears be opened, um, not to my weird beard, but to Jesus. May your eyes and ears be opened to Jesus who is the source of all of our healing, who is the source of all of our goodness, and all that we do in this beautiful life. I would now invite us to stand for our intercessions, our prayers of the faithful. We turn to Christ today, knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayers, just as he heard the pleas to heal the man that was deaf. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our church that we may bring the light of Jesus to those who are holding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our school and our teachers that they may bring the Spirit of Christ into our lives as we learn about the beauty of creation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are homeless and those who do not have all they need that they may find help and love through our assistance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that this upcoming Valentine's Day may bring true love into our hearts, that the love of Jesus may inspire us to love others as Jesus loved us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and all those dealing with cancer. We continue to pray for Miss Elm Green that they may bring strength be strengthened by our prayers and support. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have fallen asleep into eternal rest, that they may be welcomed into their new heavenly home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. A loving Father, we ask you to hear and to grant all of our prayers. Um, especially as we pray for Mila Kiel today, we ask these through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would now invite you to be seated as we prepare altar and bring forward the gifts.
I now invite us to stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Now invite us to kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may they merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
request. Mm -hmm.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruits for the salvation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. It was an absolute pleasure and an embarrassment to be up here this morning, Um, (laughs) looking the way I look. But uh, thank you to all of you who helped donate for the Penny Wars uh, last week. Um, We raised a bunch of money for our school to help support future education. Um, So thank you, thank you to all the children who helped donate. Thank you. Um, So now the last question is, is when do I shave this off? Do I shave it off today? Do I shave it off next week? Do I shave it off in 2023? Um, (laughs) <laughs> Wait a whole year. Uh, who knows? Who knows what will happen next week? Uh, be on the lookout to see what happens to my beard. It'll be a surprise. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.